Downtown Norfolk comes alive this week as the MEAC tournament returns to scope. I'm Bruce Rader. Fans from all over the country are coming to Norfolk this weekend for the MEAC basketball tournament, and two local teams are hoping to punch their ticket to the big dance. First up, Norfolk State, which will open the tournament tomorrow night against South Carolina State. And Nathan Epstein joins us with that story. That's it. Norfolk State is going to the big dance for the first time in school history. Five years ago seems like a long time. That was the last time Norfolk State won the MEAC tournament. I mean, I'm, I'm hungry. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm starving. My ribs are touching. Head coach Robert Jones was just an assistant back then, and now he's ready for another championship. I get tired of hearing about the 2012 team as well. You know, honestly, I think it's time for us to have a 2017 team for people to talk about. Is this that team? Well, Jordan Butler leads the MEAC in block shots. Zayna Robinson leads the league in steals and assists to turnover ratio, while Jonathan Wade is the second leading scorer in the conference. We can definitely do it. You know, we keep playing defense the way we've been playing, and I think we just tweak some things offensively, you know, maybe get some more assists and things like that. I think that we do have the tools, especially on paper, to get it done. To be honest, I've always thought this was the team to do it. From the jump, we have so much potential and so much talent. We just got to put it all together. As the second place team in the MEAC and the second seed in the tournament, a win on Wednesday means an off day on Thursday before the semifinals. I think that, that extra day of rest is going to be big for us, uh, not only physically but mentally, because we're going to be in a, a war tomorrow for sure. It's going to be a war in that court. A three-game war into the winner goes the title and a trip to the big dance. You have to be almost you know, lucky in a sense than good because it's, it's 13 dogs going for that one bone. You know, even some of the good teams go home early. You know, it's just that win or go home mentality. The, the intensity is heightened. You know, the fans are heightened a little bit. Their intensity is, is more, you know, they're screaming at you a little bit more. Me act stuff all over the place and, you know, the chance to dance all over the place. So you just want a chance to dance. They'll get that chance starting tomorrow. In Norfolk, I'm Nathan Epstein for the Sports Rack. Thank you, Nathan. And two-time defending tournament champion Hampton University also received a first round by the Pirates. Don't play until Thursday's late game. They are the fourth seed in the tournament. 